The moon isn't a visitor. It's a piece of earth knocking to the sky. How? Stay tuned to know more. 4.5 billion years ago, our planet looked very different. A planet the size of Mars, called Thea, crashed into the young Earth. It didn't just strike the planet. The impact liquefied Earth's entire surface, turning solid rock into oceans of magma. 24 hours after impact, Earth had rings. The Great Collision. The debris from the collision didn't fly off into space. Earth's gravity captured it. For millions of years, our planet was surrounded by a massive ring system, thicker and brighter than Saturn's rings. The Ring of Fire. A glowing halo of molten rock circled the Earth, reshaping the future of our planet. Months to years later, the birth of the Moon. Gravity acted like a cosmic vacuum cleaner. Fragments inside the rings collided, stuck together and slowly merged into one giant sphere. That sphere became the Moon. 4.4 billion years ago, the Moon was much closer. When the Moon first formed, it was 15 times closer to Earth than it is today. It filled half the sky and created tides more than 1,000 feet high, violently reshaping Earth's surface. The Moon is not a visitor of a stranger in the sky. It is a piece of Earth that was blasted into orbit. This is why moon rocks have the same isotopic signature as Earth. It is part of our planet's past. A reminder that Earth itself was forged through chaos. Like, subscribe, and comment if you want more unbelievable science stories like this one.